Hey everyone, this is John from Pi Supply, and today we are taking a look at the iFixit 64-bit driver kit, which is a screwdriver kit made up of 64 pieces that you can use for um, opening iPhones, smart, all sorts of smartphones, iPads, laptops, everything you need. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So one of the really cool features I like about this kit and a lot of the iFixit kits is this case, firstly, it's magnetized as you can see in each of the corners there. So when you put it back on, you can tip it upside down, you can shake it and you know, you can open it back up and everything stays in there. So there, you've got these foam inserts, everything stays in there. So you know, if it falls off a shelf or something at home, you, you, you know it's not gonna get unorganized or anything like that. Another cool feature of this um, product is that the top of this case has a number of dividers which you can use to put in screws, which is one of those always frustrating things is when you're opening up a phone, you've got different lots, different types of screws and you don't want to get them mixed up. Um, and you know, normally I'll just put on a piece of paper and try and separate them. Here you can actually have you know, little dividers organized well, so you're not going to lose any screws. So let's have a look at the screw bits here. So at the bottom here, we've got a number of different ones. So these ones are your standard uh, Phillips screwdrivers and you know these are the ones you get in all sorts of screwdriver kits that you know are very useful very um, standard and used in a lot of things and in this kit there's got you know you've got a variety of them from you know big to small ones and you know perfect for any use case so as you can see on the bottom here as well we've got these two triangular ones now these ones are actually used in a few things you you might have see, not see them in the day-to-day -day life to be honest but they're used in a variety of things, in elevators, golf clubs, uh, vacuums, and all sorts of things, but they're really not that common. Um, so let's put those ones back in there. The next ones we have here are actually, these are the pentalobe ones. So if you've got an iPhone or a Mac or anything like that, these are the screwdrivers you're gonna be using to open up your device there. And um, you know, as iPhones, there's a billion of them in the world now. There's plenty of Macs as well. You know, they're becoming more and more common, and um, they're developed by Apple and you know, extremely secure. And they just, they're just a, a better screwdriver. So we also have these tripoint screwdrivers here, and now these ones they're actually used in uh, Apple phones, um, smartwatches, Fitbits, all sorts of things like that, and even digital cameras. Um, and we have a few of those in this kit. Now the next lineup, we see a variety of flathead screwdrivers, and obviously these are the standard ones. You know, you use around the house for all sorts of things. You know, lots of devices have these, uh, and they're you know one of the most common. So you've got a variety of different sizes there to suit your need. And then also at the end here, we've got this round one, and this one is actually used if I can get it out. Um, so let's say you want to get the pop the SIM card out of your phone. You know, normally what I'll do, and I think a lot of people do, is they'll get a little um, paper clip, bend it open, and then you just point it straight into the SIM card and it should pop out. Now, iFixit have actually got their own one of these. And um, as you can see, it's basically long and circular and similar to kind of, you know, a paper clip. And what you would do is, just like what you do with your paper clip, is you can just po poke it into the SIM card bit. And I've got a Samsung Galaxy S8 here. You just poke it in there and it will pop out like that. And then over here, we've got these two odd looking screws. Now these ones are actually, they're quite specific and they are used in uh, actually Nintendo's games consoles. So if you've got this kit, you might not use it that much, but if you're an old school gamer and you like Nintendo, then these ones would be perfect for you if you ever needed to open up your Nintendo games console. And then along here, we actually have these ones which are called Torx regular and we've got Torx security ones. Now these are used in electronics and also automotive. Um, and basically what you see here is that they've got a number of different points around them and then also they've got a hole down the middle and basically these are just a better screwdriver than your regular one because you've got these extra points around here and you've got the hole in the middle. So the screw would have the hole in the middle. You can push it straight through and you can turn it. And because you've got so many more points and so it's, it's, so, it's a lot more secured, 
you're not going to get the rounded edges like you can get on a, uh, a Phillips screwdriver where you've just got the four points there. And so there's a number of them here that can do that. And the regular torques, they don't actually have the hole in the middle, but they are still secure. And actually these torque security ones, even though they've got the hole in the middle, they'll still work with regular Torx screws as well. So the next ones we've got, we've actually got, as we spoke about just a moment ago, your standard sort of um, Phillips screwdriver here that again, are used you know, in your day-to-day -day life quite considerably. And you know, a lot of electronics devices around the house have those. So again, iFixit has these as standard in most kits as they should, as they're most common. Um, so those ones are in there for you. So the next ones we have are actually these square drivers here. Now, these actually were quite common in the 1920s and 30s where manufacturing was you know, just starting out. So they're actually not as common nowadays because the, the standard hex drive is you know, a lot easier to use, it's a lot more um, sustainable, it's better. And these ones, you just really don't see them around that much anymore. So if you've got something old in your garage or something like that from a long time ago, you may see these. Um, but in most modern technology, they're not going to be that common. Now, after that, we have these two odd looking ones. And again, these ones aren't too common, but you know, one thing you may see them in that I've seen them in personally before as a golfer is that these are used in kind of, you know, golf shoes for putting the cleats and turning those into the soles of your shoes. So really not that common, um, but they still you know, have the odd use here and there. The next one we have is actually rather odd. We don't use it too much, to be honest. It's actually only used in coffee makers. So um, you're not really going to use it that much unless you're repairing your you know, coffee machine at home. And, but I guess that's the good thing about the iFixit kit. Instead of having to go online and you know, order one and wait a few days for it to arrive, you, you know, you've got it here. So it's there for that you know, one use case every year you might need it which is, you know, it's perfect. And then after that, we've actually got these ones, which we, th there's quite a few of them. And these ones are just your general kind of, you know, Allen key that, um, you know, you'll use building Ikea fur furniture or those sorts of use cases. You know, Allen keys are pretty popular and used in all sorts of things around the home. And after that, we have these ones, which are just your general uh, nut drivers. So if you need to tighten a nut, or anything like that, you've got a selection of these, you've got a selection of six that, you know, obviously suit any nut size that you need. Um, so, you know, very useful. And finally, we have another one, which is, this is a magnet in the end of a screwdriver bit. And you may be wondering, well, where am I gonna use that? Now, this is perfect for if you're, you know, opening up an iPhone, smartphone, tablet, and you've got all those little screws all over the place. Maybe you haven't used the iFixit, um, you know, sorter here, and they're all kind of all over the table and you dropped a few on the floor, you can just connect this to the end of your screwdriver, you know, run this across the floor and you can grab, you know, all those little screws that have run loose. And I mean, it's a very strong magnet. I mean, to show you how strong it is, take a look at this. This is, you know, a regular, regular sort of Stanley knife. Just connect it on there, picks it up. And you know, that's, that's all you need really. And um, lastly, we'll just show you the actual screwdriver uh, bit here. So all of these obviously connect into it. Um, and you know, there's, it's pretty secure. They're not gonna you know, fall out, it's magnetic. And you know, that's, that's kind of all you need. You don't want any of them falling out. And you know, it's, it's perfect for you know, all your day-to-day -day tasks. And another neat feature about this as well is that you know, sometimes you've got a screw in a hard to reach place and you know, it's always a bit fiddly. And you know, this, you, know, you might be able to get it down the side of a wall and screw, just get that screw. You've got this. Here. So, you know, if you've got a screw in that's a hard to reach place, you can just bend this round and you can turn it from here and, you know, it's going to turn the driver and, you know, that's, that's all you really need, really. So that is one of the neat things about this iFixer kit. And obviously as well, the great thing about this kit is that it all just fits compactly into this nice little, little box and you've got this lid. And as I said earlier, you can turn it upside down, you can shake it, nothing's going to fall out. So if it falls off a shelf, it's all going to stay in there and that's that's perfect and that's it that's the 64-bit precision set and it's available at piesupply.com and um, feel free to email us with any questions and thank you for watching this video and we'll see you next time